This is super impressive, honestly. <laughs> These are just still cars. They're pushing off of still cars. Good mix of practical and CG also. Practical, CG. Yeah, this is all old classic Epic Meal time. <laughs> Dude, look at that jank motion blur. This is what like got me going into the, my next phase of action visual effects. Real quick, Ren, guess react real quick. <laughs> 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 What's up guys, welcome back to VFX Artist React, and today we have a very special guest. That's right, it's Freddy. Hey everybody, it's Our me. best bud, Freddy. So arguably both us and yourself, Freddy, kind of got our start on YouTube doing visual effects videos. Yeah, kind of where it all started was computers and making stuff that people weren't doing at that time. Get me in close. So the reason I picked this one is because the effects on it are really damn good for what you guys were doing back in the day. This is Clint back on his old beater, right? Yep. Yeah. Throw this three and fill apart. All right, so pause right there. This is a full comp. <laughs> is it? It's a full comp. So that's Clint just like <laughs> sitting there. The thing that sells this one, I remember sitting there on this one. The little speedometer moves. Oh. Yeah, a little, little animation <laughs> speedometer moving. <laughs> that's just driving along that street, not fast, <laughs> but that's real. <laughs> Working that green screen. Green screen in front, screen. and this is pause for a second. This is uh, in the car with a leaf blower being blown <laughs> up by hair in order to sell that. This is super impressive, honestly. <laughs> These are just still cars. I mean, pushing off of still cars, and the wheel is fake. And those car cars are being comped onto this background, and the wheels are being made to spin after the fact. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> that right there is great. This is Alessandro just rolling on a rescreen on the ground, steady. And then really the impact on this gets sold 100% just like just going like this. <laughs> you guys turn this around in a week, right? This is a week, yeah. Man. I think this is a testament to just like, if you film the elements for real, even if they're comped together, it goes so much farther to making things look real. Do you think if you made that video these days, do you think it'd still get attention and views? You know, I think, I think one of the hard things about being able to do a one-to-one -one on this is that, you know, this was like during this height of momentum of YouTube stuff. The problem with these videos was like, when we were doing one a week, the whole point was like, they were like three panel comics, right? This is just like a little, very short story. You know, I think that the, the way people are using YouTube is different, right? Like this as a TikTok probably could play, as, we, as weird as it is, right? Because that, that I think is where the format of this sort of thing is. Mm -hmm. Epic Meal Time and Freddy Wong. What you know about video editing software? Dude, this gets this video gets quoted to me all the time. Really? Yeah. More camera shake. Too much camera shake. This isn't born identity. Yeah, this was all old classic Epic Meal time. <laughs> and this was just us kind of taking the piss out of what you expect from visual effects. Also that jank motion blur. Oh yeah. Dude, look at that jank motion blur. Oh, it's like the image-based like smearing motion blur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the hard smear. Physics. You could drop a couple objects and have them bounce. And they bounce a little janky. These days, you got chunks in your video games flying all over the place, take it for granted. It was barely something you could do back then. Like this had to be calculated in a CPU. And you can do this in real time now on a GPU. Easily. Yeah. Cars on cars. This was a mostly Brandon um, effects stuff. He did a lot, you know, he was, he was of the duo, he was the one doing all the 3D elements. And then I'm sitting there being like, I can animate a planet. <laughs> this video, made everybody think that I'm a really short guy. <laughs> but no, I'm average height. Harley <laughs> is a really tall guy. Yeah. I played a v VR game with Harley, and it's like literally, <laughs> <laughs> the model didn't even know what to do. It's just a tall dude. Uh, let me tell you guys to leave a comment with some awesome clips that we should check out. Maybe it's something we've made and you love. Maybe it's something you've seen in a movie theater, or maybe it's something you've seen on Netflix or another fun streaming service, let us know. Ah, oh, this was underrated, in my opinion, because I think the movie also knows what it's doing. It knows that it's kind of a joke. There's a big magnet, by the way, Sam. It's pulling everybody around. Ah, gotcha. It's a really nice looking movie. I mean, all of Michael Bay's stuff looks. This is a Michael Bay movie? Yeah. What? And by the way, you can always tell when someone tries to fake the Michael Bay funk, it's never as good. The Michael Bay like long, you know, super long zoom shot, right? Like the spin around. Look at that in Bad Boys 3, look at that in Bad Boys 2. It feels different. It's better in Bad Boys 2. Good mix of practical and CG also. Practical, CG. Like there's a bunch of digital doubles, but you don't immediately register them because there's a lot there's of There's a lot people. of real people in this. Yeah, exactly. 
and you cut right into a real person to sell the hit when you use a digital yep. double to fly. And then also in. a lot of good like fast, 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 slow, fast, fast, right? Like the mix of of, of slow motion and, and 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 regular speed. Michael Bay feels like a kid that was okay with like playing in mud when mm -hmm. he was a kid, right? Like when he's looking at this shot, you got smoke, you have debris, loose debris. That stuff sells the impact. That stuff sells the chaos of it. And by the way, John Woo does that really well too, right? Like all of the John Woo gunfight stuff. It's like the amount of just stuff getting thrown in the air. Most movies when you do action, especially chaos action, it's just chaos, right? It's chaos, 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 and maybe you have some good rhythm, maybe you have some good camera work. But in this, there's a story in every single shot. Mm -hmm. Like, dude's getting his vest pulled off, causing him to get thrown differently. Guy hits the rail, then a bull smacks him in the face. That sort of constant checking in is like, that's a commercial thing. 30 seconds, you only have so much to tell. Have you guys seen the Michael Bay Got Milk commercial, right? No. And now let's make that random call with today's $10,000 question. This dude went so hard on a Got Milk commercial. Who shot Alexander Hamilton? Every shot here is like so yeah. beautifully composed, right? Like the wide angles, the camera's pushing in. Excuse me? The, the, the dueling pistols. <laughs> the flashes, the gun shooting. It's, yeah. it's a totally information dense. Uh, thing. And I think that when you look at action sequences and we look at visual effects too, it's you can get dense. You want to tell that story both in the frame and then also in your cuts. Do you stand in the line at the prison cafeteria where the chef Google takes its serving spoon and reaches into a pot of slurry and slaps it down your bowl and you look down and its VFX artists react? Or do you go to a supper club and look at a menu? <laughs> Order this video upon request. Yeah. Click subscribe. This sequence has some of the most intense action visual effects oh my God, of yes. all time. And the funny thing is like most of the movie kind of is whatever until the end. No, it is a boring movie and then the hardest five minutes you've ever seen on camera. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> it's amazing, there's nothing else like this, man. This is what like got me going into the, my next phase of action visual effects. Real quick, Ren, guess react real quick. Just show in the beginning. So he takes the gun. <laughs> and then he turns. I know, right? Like, oh my, oh my god. god. Look at the quality of that blood. Bonk. I am blown away. So was he. So oh. <laughs> it's the chunky, there's this chunkiness that's going on here. It's a chunky gloopiness. I mean, obviously it defies physics with how much blood is coming out of these people. The amount of blood that's coming out of people would like change the relative humidity of this area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Man, there's more. There's more meat. <laughs> <laughs> more meat coming in. <laughs> there's your Come shoe. You see the way I'm gonna get this meat. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here it comes. The VFX shot. This is why we watched the whole scene. Man, fuck. <sighs> Dude, chopped his fingers off too. I never noticed that. This, this oh, is, isn't that nuts? The double roll. Ugh. So after he mutilates the dudes in the truck here, just frame by frame on this. I, <laughs> just, I think that's a yeah, that's a dummy, right? That's just yeah. no, that's probably, well, that's a dude that's been painted for one frame. Yeah, yeah. And then they just blew up. up. And there's like there's a so much. Oh, it's oh, the oh, stringy. No. It's the viscosity of it. Those little hat flies up. See that? Right here we go. Right, right here he goes. Whoop. There's the hat straight up. Straight up. Hats off to Rambo. I think he's shooting actual blanks there too. Like, and that's just part of what's causing the chaos is he's just letting rip these giant blanks that are basically explosions in and of themselves. So there's another shot after this that is VFX related. So check out what's happening to the people in that shot. His so dude said his head So removed. we're painting out a head. So all this blood, I'm pretty sure is CG. Yes. Yeah. The guy uh, second from the right. So we have a blood hit here. But what sells that effect is the paint outs they do. Look at that. Yeah, a little separation at the waist. That, those are full 3D legs. You're right. Those are full 3D legs. And they're, so they're basically him out for they're, after this. They're doing a wire pull on him, but painting out his legs. It's happening in the chaos of the shot, and there's so much happening. That's the one thing you see in that shot, right? You don't. You may not necessarily notice the guy's head's gone, but you remember that one guy, that first bit. There's a thing I've been I've been wanting to see this in Hollywood movies forever, and they never do it, and that is bullet penetration with squibs. They always do like a hit. But you'll never see like a hit and then another squib lined up with that to imply the path of a bullet penetrating something. And you would get it here. Their arms are up to avoid getting hit by the squibs. Yep. 
I bet you they're stacked they are like stacked. that. Yeah, right. so that they don't actually hurt each other. Yeah, because they're huge, they're huge explosives on them. Those are real squibs too. Those aren't CG at all. But notice they have a squib on the front of the first guy and then the front and the back of the second guy and they're slightly offset so you get a travel through them. By the way, even though they have padding on those squibs, that's still like getting punched really hard on both sides of your body. Imagine having two explosions go off on your abdomen. So this is, I think this is like almost like an afterthought in terms of visual effects, but it works really well. All right, so go back first. That first slice, his hand goes across the knife, cuts his fingers off. It's not a full blade. They CG right. the blade. Yeah, any, the end of it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's also, it's also getting obscured by, I think they're probably adding blood to it. So yep, they're basically- that blood coming off the side. Yeah, it almost could even be a thing where you have like a tiny like blunt hook on a blood bag and it's like a half prop blade. And so he is kind of like legit tearing it. And they're also painting out uh, what's, what's probably a seam in his shirt. There's definitely a seam there that's already been cut. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, and yeah. That's been painted out as well. So then the final right here as it gets kicked. The hat goes up. Uh, hats, hats off. off to Rambo. Hats off to Rambo. <laughs> and his top half moves separately from the bottom half. And it's a relatively simple effect because you just roto out your top half and you roto your bottom half and you just have them play at different speeds. And then also you can see all the painted on like blood stains, like on his back and on his side there. That, that's all added after the fact. I'm noticing they're also adding little splits and splurts onto the ground there. Yep. <sighs> That was a lot of really great clips. And also, Freddie, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me on. It's great to hear your insights on this stuff and also kind of like talk about these clips that we have these shared experiences with. And I don't know, it's really exciting. Freddie, I hear you have a really great D&D &D podcast. I have a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. It's called Dungeons and Daddies. It's on Spotify, it's on podcast apps. You can also listen in your browser if you're a psychopath. <laughs> Dungeonsanddaddies.com or search for it on uh, the podcast apps and Spotify.